But I think that's the dog whistle in this ad. Anybody you know, else hear anytime, a dog whistle? Anytime a real issue is brought up here, all of a sudden it's a silent dog whistle that only liberals hear. If uh, Barack Obama had been white, like, say, uh, Bill Clinton, and he had done this, you would have had the same attacks. Clinton's the guy who passed the law in the first place. Was that a dog whistle? Is he a racist? Mickey Kaus, who's one of the leading neoliberal writers in America, who knows this stuff in and out, he wrote a book called The End of Inequality, has written about this reform that now has been introduced by the Obama administration. He says it guts the entire legal structure of it. He know, and, and look, let me give you simply one example. The reason it guts it is that it allows governors to waive the work rule and, and to instead institute job training, which includes hula dancing, self-esteem classes, and keeping a journal. But That's what we're talking about by gutting the law. What Clinton insisted on, what conservatives today are insisting on, and what Obama is overturning is the work first requirement. That's the heart of it.